Allen, the author of Bare Essentials, Bras. And um, I know this is a little delayed because the book came out about two months ago, um, but I've been too busy, I'm not too busy, but I've been so busy between um, teaching some courses and actually writing an online course to work with this book. So this is a little bit delayed, so I apologize. Um, one of the questions I get quite often is, what is the difference between the first, second, and third edition of the book? Um, first of all, the first and second edition, I approach drafting from having to take a physical measurement of both your horizontal and vertical amounts of the breast. Well, this proved to be very, very difficult for most people to actually do that are over like an F cup. So I, <clears throat> so I made it a personal project that I was going to find a easier way to get more accurate measurements. So this way you don't have to keep taking that measurement over and over again. You have it once and it should work. So what I ended up doing is I went back to the drawing board and I started playing around with numbers and I had a whole bunch of different measurements and fits that I knew worked for my testers. So I had that compiled and then I worked with another series of testers to test a theory I had. And that was really with doing some math. So what I ended up doing is I ended up creating a calculation that will determine the volume that is around your body within the cup that is not in the band. Um, it was a little bit complex. If you do want to know the actual math I did, you can grab it in the third edition because I'm not sharing that um, on the video. I'll lose all of you. Um, but the one thing I have done is I've actually made that calculation in a calculator on my website. So all you have to do is punch in five different measurements, actually four measurements and then your wire, and then it gives you the, your vertical and your, um, your horizontal amounts to draft from. Now this works for probably about 98% of people. There are some people I have encountered that have a slightly different um, body proportion that it hasn't actually worked for them, but there is workarounds and I'm actually trying to figure out how to incorporate that into my calculator. So if you do have one of these different body proportions, um, you can change it. Um, so the first and second editions, um, the second edition I introduced, um, what do you call it, uh, computer grading and computer drafting. And I did that with both my software uh, that I use, which is Poly Pattern, and also Illustrator. Um, so that was kind of the main difference I did with first and second edition. I improved a lot of other little steps. I, I mixed up the, I changed the drafting a little bit. I took it to a different approach that would actually be a little bit easier to follow. And I also, because the computer grading was in there, I made it so it was a little bit easier to and more accurate to grade your pattern sizes by a scaling method as opposed to um, at this point you raise it up an eighth of an inch and you raise it over a quarter. So instead of doing that I actually approached it with a scaling method. I'm still doing that to this day with the third edition. Um, in the third edition I have also tackled the grading in a couple extra techniques, just different ways to come up with the same idea. So if one way, if you're struggling to understand it one way, um, the third edition does show you a couple additional ways you can come about it. And they're all going to be very similar with the outcome. The main, the main change with the third edition between the first and the second is the fact that we've split the bottom cup. So it's actually a three-piece cup that you are drafting. And we're using my calculator to calculate the measurements that you need for your draft. Um, and then the biggest change is the sloper. And it's not how I had approached it before, having a sloper being a two-piece cup. This is actually a one-piece sloper that you can then cut apart and manipulate and turn into any design you want. Um, so that is the major difference on this. And if you have, let's say, the first or second edition in print, um, I did make a supplemental drafting book in print that just covers the new drafting and the um, new sloper. It does not um, it does not include that extra grading that I did, um, but the print book was about $25 and I'm selling my PDF for the whole third edition for $20. So as opposed to making my that supplement 
as a PDF, which I would probably only charge a few dollars less than the full third edition. I'm not offering the digital version at all for the, um, for the supplement. So if you do have the first or second edition, I would encourage you to get the PDF and just print out the different chapters that you actually want to use. I did a lot of updates throughout the entire book to correspond with how I am kind of approach everything in this book. Um, but the construction, the first, the first and second section of the book are very much the same. Um, I took some of the um, manipulation out of the second chapter and that is actually now in the sloper. So we actually create those designs using the sloper in the third edition. Um, so if you're on the fence between it, um, you know, whether you want to get the PDF because you have the first and second edition, I would do that. The print book is, a, is actually, it's a little bit thicker. Um, it's now, you can get it in a perfect bound like this, and I think it's $45. If you get it from my website and you want to get the black and white version, I will spiral bind it for the same price, so it's $45 on my website. If you want to get the full color, which is one of these, and as full color, it's the steps. So here, I don't, you, I'm sure you cannot see, but in the step, the next step that you're illustrating, it is in red. So you can actually see what the step is that I'm referencing. So it's not full colors, it's just spot coloring throughout it. Um, but it does make a difference if you are very visual. Um, and there's some other coloring and stuff in here to make it a little bit easier on the eyes. Um, and that book is $60. That book you can purchase on Amazon or you can buy directly on my website. Either way, I'm shipping it directly to you. So even if you buy the color edition on Amazon, I'm still shipping it to you. Um, other than that, um, I have been super busy with teaching some three-day workshops. I've done two so far, and I now remember why I got out of teaching in a school setting, because it is exhausting. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed teaching the class, um, and I have two more coming up, one in October and one in November, and I still have two spaces left for each of those. Um, I had, the first class I did was full, it was five students, and I decided that five was actually just too many students, so I've now changed the cap to three students. So I have two spaces left for October, two spaces for November, and I did have to raise the price a little bit, that way it kind of, you get a little bit more one-on-one -on -one attention. So I have those spaces available if you would like to join. Um, they are limited, and there's a very good chance that I will not be teaching in person next year. Um, this has been good for me to help get back into the rhythm um, and one of the things I did when I was starting to prepare for the class I was teaching is I filmed the entire course. So um, after I finished the first class um, I was able to go in and edit all the videos that I had done previously. So I now have an online course for drafting so I tell you how to walk through the steps and you get to physically see it on the screen. So those are going to be available at courses.porcelain.com. It is a separate website than my regular supply site just because it's a different way of, um, because it's a, it's a course. And my, my other website's a shopping cart. So it's kind of too hard to actually implement the two together, so that's why they are separate. Um, you can enroll now, um, and that course is $44.95. So you're definitely getting a deal seeing that the one-on-one -on -one with me is going to be around $700, um, but you do get three days with me if you decide to do the in-person workshop. You get complete attention from me and I will make sure that we get through as much as we can, but also that you retain and understand the knowledge as well as you can. Um, so that's kind of the gist of everything. I think I have addressed everything. Um, sure I am forgetting something. Um, I'll be doing a couple other videos. I have one on measurements that I actually have previously done and it's in part of the course. Unfortunately part of the video you can't see the line that I drew. That's only part of the video um, and it's not a good representation of what the course is going to be. The course is you will see all the pencil lines. Um, it was just because I was doing a trace manually that that line was hard to see. So that should be available in a day or two, so you can go ahead and watch that video afterwards. Um, I'll also do a complete video on the calculator. And the calculator I have is on my blog, so it's actually on blog.porcelain.com. 
again, I had to have it in a separate website because I just could not implement that many things into one website. So yes, I have three websites. Um, the bra making calculator is under, I think, the tutorials link. Um, I think that's what it's called. Um, and I have made some updates since I did the filming of the course, and I'm going to do my best to try and get those videos on the course updated to a new calculator video because I've made a lot of changes that actually will help you draft based with the chart. Um, and I think that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and um, give me a thumbs up so and follow me if you want to see more of these videos. Um, but I have definitely been busy. I have a couple other big projects going on this year. I am working on a set of patterns that are going to be kind of like as close as you can get to custom without being custom. Um, and you'll see what I mean because I think my bands have about 800 variations and the cups have about 500 variations. Um, and that was the last time I checked. Um, it might actually be a little bit more than that. Um, so look forward to that. I'm hoping to have that released in about a month. So in around maybe the end of October, that might be available. And I know people have been waiting for a pattern, a bra pattern for me for about two years since I took my old one down. Um, it is coming, I promise you. I am just super thorough and have to make sure everything is perfect before I can release something. I don't like having to release something and then constantly do updates on it. And you're like, and you're probably commenting, but you did three editions. Um, I did three editions because as you develop your skills, more and more things are brought to my attention. So in all three editions, there was nothing that I have published that was incorrect. I think I may have had a goof on a chart at one point, um, but nothing has been incorrect. So if you're drafting from the first or second edition, you'll still get there. Um, I would just recommend splitting the bottom cup. That's the main difference in the drafting. Um, but to keep saying I'm doing more additions to correct it. It's actually not to correct it, it's just to provide additional information to make it more useful for you. Because my goal as a teacher is that I want you to understand what to do and how to do this. I don't think it should be privileged information for these big industry companies to have. I would like the information to be public so anybody can have it. But I also have spent a lot of work on it, which is why I did it in a book, so you can buy it and support me. Thank you very much, and I hope to uh, be doing another video very soon. Thanks for watching. If you would like to have more content like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, or leave a comment below. Thank you very much.